three, two, step your left foot forward, rise up to a high lunge, fingertips through the ceiling, deep bend in your left knee, start the pulse here. Opening through your chest, energy reaches up. Keep all your weight in your left leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shift all your way forward to the left, pull your right leg in and out. Exhale, pull it in, inhale, reach out. Just eight, seven, six, five, engage your core, belly button to your spine. Three, two, one, again, big inhale through center. Stretch your arms up. Exhale, you can turn your toes and go all the way down. And take a soft bend in your knees. Just start to walk your hands a little bit further between your legs. Pull your stomach in, release your neck. Deep breath in. Walk over to the right. Find your lunge again on the right. Step back to your downward dog. Inhale, look forward. Step or jump with your feet between your hands. Lift halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to rise all the way up. Press your palms together. And exhale, swan back over your legs. Take it real slow. Inhale, head up only. Exhale, step or jump back. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. Gaze forward over your mat. Stay here. Then inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, roll forward to a high plank. Big push ups now. Bend your elbows all the way down and up. Tuck your elbows in like you're in a chaturanga position. Send your elbows back behind you. You can come down to your knees to modify. Take your hips and chest with you. Bend and press. Good. Four, three, two. Stay low. Pulse here. Bend your chest forward between your arms. Elbows back. Arms tucked into your side for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come back to your toes. Right leg lifts up. Little pulse. Shift your weight forward. Shoulders over your wrists. Point your right toes. Engage your core. Belly button in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend and extend. Pull it in. Stretch out. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Extend. Almost there. Go for eight, seven, six, five. Switch it out. Left leg up. In three, two, one. Shift your weight forward a little again in case you shift it back. A little bit forward. Shoulders over wrist. Left leg pulses to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five. Bend and extend. In three, two, one. Bend in, stretch out. Again, engage your core. Suck your stomach in. Shift your weight forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to push ups. Then press. You can take your elbows wide this time. Inhale, exhale. You can modify, drop down to your knees. Bend your elbows away from you. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Bend your chest and hips forward. Eight, seven, six, five. Pop back to your toes. In three, two, one, tap your shoulders. Widen your stance. Quiet hips. Try not to shift too much side to side. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, down to your forearms. Loop your legs together. Big toes touch. Just four, three, two, jog your knees. Go right, left. So be careful that you're not tipping your hips too low and arching your back. 
I'm gonna keep a little bit of roundness in your spine, not too much. Weight shifted forward, straight leg, press your heels back. Reach your heels back behind you. Belly button in, just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, hold your leg. Maybe interlace your fingers, lift your hips a little bit higher. Shift your weight forward. Gaze forward to the top of your mat. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flip over onto your back. You take a reverse plank position. Be flat. Fingertips point behind you. Lift your hips up. Tricep dips. Bend. Press. Open your chest. Shift your weight back to your heels. Maybe your toes can lift up. Nice. Open chest. Bend, press, elbows reach towards each other. Eight, seven, six, five, that's as far. Three, two, hold pop, just hold it here. Reach your elbows towards each other. Weight shifts back. Maybe you can extend your legs a little bit longer. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten your legs, lift your hips to the ceiling. And exhale, lower down. Flip back over onto all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. If you need to take a little bit of stretch for your wrist, you can take a child's pose. Take the tops of your hands to the floor and send your wrists forward. Good, so we're gonna come into our seat now. I'm gonna face this way, but you can face the other way. I'm gonna start with my right leg, so I want you to see the right leg. Turn your right hips down to the mat and lift your right leg up. Start to tap and lift full range. So if you have a tendency to hyperextend your elbows, you can take a soft bend through your elbows. Or you want to protect the elbow joints. Make sure you're not hyperextending. Gaze forward to the top of your mat or slightly in front of your mat, keeping your neck long. So we're getting into the right glutes. Tap, lift. Square your hips. Right hips point down, right? Try not to lift it up. Eight more right here, just eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, square your hips. Belly button in, pulse here, little lift. So it's just a tiny pulse. Your leg stays at hip height or a little bit higher. Again, try not to arch your back, right? I have that tendency, I arch my back naturally. So I really have to remember that. Thinking about lifting my spine up to the ceiling. It's pretty common for a lot of people to do that, especially if you have a flexible back. I do. So it's a good little reminder. You might hear me say it a lot because I'm trying to remind myself to do it still. 16. Shift all your weight to the right. It's different teaching on Zoom. You got to do everything, right? Can't say great. <laughs> it's good though. I got to work out it too. Just three, two, one circle to the right. Full circle. So you should feel like you're sculpting your right butt cheek here. Right, really like a sculptor has to go in and really take these little movements to sculpt exactly what they want. Right, I think you're doing that with your butt here. <laughs> Three, two, one, little bend and press. Reach your toe to the wall behind you. Think about sending a little bit up Up, up, tiny bend, big reach. So it's more about the reach than about the bend. Belly buttons to your spine, flat backs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, circle to the left. So in, inward circles. 
try to keep your hips quiet. Again, shift your weight to the right. If you can pick up your left hand, there go eight, seven, six. If you're shaking, it's good. That's where that sculpting is happening. Three, two, full range bend and extend. You can flex your foot and really press it out. Knee to knee and then kick it out. Quiet hips. Keep your back flat. When you press it out, think about lifting it up higher than your hip, but at the same time, not changing the shape of your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, point your toe in four, three, two, one. We take push ups. As we lift your leg, lower your chest down. You can send your elbows wide. Really kick it up. Chest goes down as leg goes up. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knee 90 degrees, come down to your forearms and poke a hole through the ceiling with your right toes. Keep your knee lifted at hip height. Try to keep your weight over to the right. Not dumping to the left side. Just lift for four, three, two, hold top on one, and release. Send your knees wide, come to a child's pose. Send your hips back to your heels. Send your chest down to the floor. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. If you need to take that little wrist stretch again, just to the tops of your hands, and send your hips back. If it's too much on the wrist, you guys, you can always just stay on your forearms the whole time, or you can come up to your fist, right? So find what works for you. Coming to the left side, hands on your shoulders, knees on your hips, point your left toe back behind you, full range, lift up, lower down. Lift, lower. Wear your hips down to the mat, flat back. Lift your spine to the ceiling. Belly button pulls into your spine. Remember to keep your neck long. Knees over the top of your mat. Imagine that your spine has a string connected to the ceiling. You want to keep it lifted, try not to arch. Really hard for people like me, I know. Keep it up, pulse here. Little lift, little pulse. Your leg stays hip height or a little bit higher than your hip, right? Try not to let it sink down. Left hip stays pointing down to the floor, shifts all your weight to the left. Little pulse. Maybe your right arm starts to float up to your left. We'll reach out in front of you. Again, lifting your spine. Lift, lift, left hip reaches down, 16. Long neck, flat back, strong core. Eight, seven, six, five, full range circles to the left. In three, two, one, circle left. Circle. Big circle all the way around. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, tiny bend and reach. Really small bend. Reach your legs slightly above your hip as you stretch it out. That flat. Think about lifting up out of your hands, up out of your arms, while at the same time your left hip stays down to the floor. Press. off your chest, gaze slightly forward, eight, seven, a little higher, six, five, circle to the right, in three, two, one, circle in, out, and up, big full range circle, eight, seven, vaulting through your feet, four, three, two, flex your foot, full range, bend it in, kick it off. So really reach behind you and up, in, out. Keep your weight to the left. Try not to dump over to the right. You got eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, belly button in for four, three, two, one, point your toe, push ups. Lift your leg up as your chest comes down. Bend your elbows out to the side, lift your leg really high as you lower your chest. All the way up, all the way down. Eight, seven, six, five. Almost there, just four, three, two, one. Lower down to your forearms, bend your knee 90 degrees. Go come up through the ceiling with your toes. Almost there, keep breathing. Square your hips down to the floor. Left hip down a little bit more. Shift your weight to the left side. Hang in eight more here. Seven, six, five, just four, three, two. Hold top on one. Take your toes together, knees wide apart. Stretch your arms long out in front of you. Uh, lower your hips to your heels, send your chest down to the mat. Take a deep breath in. And full exhale. Good. Inhale, come back to all fours. Take some cat cows here. Take a little stretch. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale again, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, arch, look up. And exhale to round. You can take your cat tail side to side, looking over your shoulders, gazing back towards your toes. Moving at your own pace. You can start to take the eight circles to your hips here. Moving in both directions, however feels good. Looking through your neck. Make sure you shift the other way. Take one more. And come back to all fours. Tuck your toes under. Bend your hips down. Oh yeah, it's starting to feel those hamstrings now. My are on fire. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Bend your knees, stack your right hip on top of the left. Just take little circles through your hips. And circle the other way. Inhale, stretch it up. Square your hips down to the mat. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Lower your back knee down to the low lunge. You can stay here, walk up to your front side, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. Maybe tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee, reach your arms up through the ceiling, fingertips reach up. Maybe take it to a gentle back bend, opening your heart. And exhale, lower your hands, lower your knees. Bend your back knee, reach around, take it in either hand, either your right hand for a little bit deeper stretch, or left hand for a little bit more accessible stretch. If you have the right hand on your left foot, you can roll onto the pinky toe side of your right foot. And open your chest up to the ceiling. Maybe pull the foot a little bit closer. And release the grip. Lower your foot down, send your hips back, flex your front foot. You pull your toes back to your nose, deep breath in. And exhale back to your low lunge. Inhale, tuck your back toes under, and exhale, step back to your downward dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up, three-legged dog. Bend your knees, stack your left hip on top of the right. Circle your hips. And the other way. Inhale, back to your three-legged dog. Square your hips down to the mat. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge, lower your back knee down. 
Thank you. Your chest connects with your thigh for a moment, sending your hips forward, feeling your right hip flexor. And then walk your hands up to your front thigh. Pull your shoulders back, open your chest. You can stay here or lift your back knee up. Reach your arms up to the ceiling, stretching through your fingertips, opening through your heart, taking a little back bend. And exhale to lower your hands, lower your knee. Inhale, lift your back foot up. Reach around, take it in either hand for a deeper stretch. Take it in the left hand. Maybe you can roll over to your left toes. Open your heart. Maybe pull your right foot in a little bit closer. Work with your own body. Exhale to release. Send your hips back. Flex your front foot. Pull your toes back to your nose. breath in, exhale back to your low lunge, inhale, tuck your back toes under, and exhale, step back to your downward facing dog, you can walk it out a little bit, inhale, look forward, step or jump your feet between your hands, lift halfway up, exhale, to pull it all the way down, Inhale, bend your knees. Sink your hips low. Reach your arms up, come to a chair pose. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Bend your hips low. Glue your legs together. Keep lowering your hips down towards your heels. Press your palms together. Little lift of your heels. Up, pull down. Inhale, exhale, lift your heels. Lower down. Sinking your hips to your heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Try to hold your heels up here. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Spread your fingers wide open through your chest. Keep your heels lifted. Sink your hips a little bit lower. Good. Four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up. Open up to a wide second position. Sink your hips low. Bend your elbows, pulse your hips between your heels. Open your chest. So your arms are in this goal post position. Pulse it out. Hips sink between your heels. Strong arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Full range, lift and lower. Up, pull down. So you can really Take this and imagine you're pulling like a bar up and down. You know, like one of those, I don't know what they're called, like lap machines or something at the gym. I don't go to the gym, but I used to. <laughs> no, I just do bar and yoga. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down, open your arms, shift side to side. Your hips low. Take a little dancing if you want. Shifting through your hips, through shoulders and chest. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Stay low. A little lower. Five. Just four. Three. Two. One. Stay over to the left. Shift all of your weight over to the left. Come to a high lunge, back knee lowers down, lifts up. Okay? So full range. Arms stay lifted over your head. Feel the burn in your shoulder. Feel the burn in your legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just pulse it out right here. Pulse. Keep your weight shifted. A little bit more to the left side. Just eight. Seven, six, five, burning out your legs. Four, three, two, one. Back to center, lift and lower your heels. Arms stretched out, shoulder height. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, turn over to your right leg, reach your arms up, bend, 
and stretch. Back knee lower than lift. Belly button pulls into your spine, strong core. Yeah, really burn out your legs. Just pulse it here. Keep all your weight in your right leg. Arms stay up overhead. Lots of work in your arms, don't let them flop. Four, three, two, one. Shift back to center. Take a full bend and stretch. A little slower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold a squat like a goddess pose, right? Toes point out, heels in, elbows lifted. Shoulder height, reach through your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Turn your toes in, walk them a little bit closer. And send your hips a little bit back. Take a squat, right? So send your hips towards your heels, reach your arms out in front of you. Long line from the top of your head down to your feet. Eight, seven, six, five. Booty reaches down for four, three, two, one. Sink a little bit lower, lift your heels. Stay up. Lift your chest a little bit higher. You'll stay up. Sink your hips a little bit lower. For four, three, two, one, and fold over your legs. Ooh, deep breath in. And deep breath out. You can grab opposite elbows. Ragdoll. Swing side to side. Very good. Lower your hands down, lower your knees. And we come all the way down to the mat. Come on to your left side. Take your right knee in front of you. You can lower all the way down, head in your hand. Flex your left foot, straighten your left leg. And start with a little pulse. So you're getting into your inner thighs now, right? We burned out our outer and upper thighs. Now we'll combine inner thighs with hamstrings. So we start with inner thighs. So the right knee can either be down on the floor, or you can just press up the right foot and lift the knee. You want to take a pillow or a ball or something under your right knee if that's more comfortable. Take whatever you need, okay? Or a block if you have one. Keep your left leg lifted at hip height. Stomach hold in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Circle back, up and around. So you want to feel how you're lifting from your left inner thigh. Tiny big circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, press it back. So send it to the wall behind you. Yeah, pressing through your heels, strong flex on your foot, like they lifted hip height. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, pop on to all fours. Flex your left foot and stretch and bend here. Full range stretch, pull in. Starting to feel your hamstrings. Four, three, Two, hold it bent, lift it up, hip height. Press your foot through the ceiling. Again, keeping a long spine. Take notice modify right for your wrist. Come up to your fist. We're lower down to your forearms. Now turn your knee out to the left. Three, two, one. You open it to like a fire hydrant position. Slide it a little bit open. So it's just directly behind through your left elbow. Good. Lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Come on to your right side. And then fix it. So just lower down to your right side. Take your left knee down in front of you. Head in your hand. Flex your right foot. Straighten your right leg. Leg stays lifted. Left hip height. Lifting from your inner thigh. 
Keep your left hand down on the mat in front of you. So keep your hips stacked. Right? Remember, you can keep your knee up if that's better for you, or take something under your knee. It doesn't really matter what the left leg is doing. Just keep it relaxed. You want to don't hold any pressure in your left leg. Let all the work come from your right inner thigh. Maybe lift it up one inch higher. Flip for eight, seven, six, five. Circles back in four, three, two, one. Circle up and around. So again, we're imagining that sculptor taking super precise little chisels. We're sculpting our inner thighs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, press it back. Keep it lifted, hip height, belly button to your spine, leg a little bit higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on to all fours, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Flex your right foot, press it out, pull it in. Long straight spine, press it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it and lift it up 90 degrees. Push your foot through the ceiling. Spine reaches up, take the curve out of your back. Open your knee in three, two, one, pulse here. So slide your right knee a little bit out so it's right behind your right elbow. Lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, tuck your toes, come to your downward dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, pull your knee into your nose. Inhale, again, reach it up to the ceiling. Exhale, take your knee to your right elbow, chaturanga arm. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, take your knee over to your left elbow, find your twist. Extend your right leg out to the left. And inhale, so reach your left arm up, open through your chest. Inhale, come back around to your three-legged dog, reach your right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, stack your right hip on top of the left, and you can stay there or flip your dog. Reach your right toe all the way around, lift your hips, open through your chest. And inhale, back around to the center, reach it back up to your three-legged dog. And exhale, take your right knee behind your right wrist, come to the pigeon. Flex your right foot, left leg straight back behind you. Roll your shoulders back, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower down. Well, you should really feel this stretch right now. There you go. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale to press into your hands. Tuck your back toes under. Reach your right leg back up to your three legged dog. You can come to a one legged plank. Exhale, one legged chaturanga. Or two. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale, left leg reaches up, three legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee into your nose. Feel the crunch of your abs. Inhale, reach back up, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to your left elbow, chaturanga arms. Inhale, reach it up, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Find a twist. Extend your leg over to the left. Reach your right arm up. Open through your heart. Lift your hips. Inhale, come back around. Do your three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knees. Stack your left hip on top of the right. Stay here or flip your dog. Lift your hips. Open through your heart. Reach your arm back behind you. Inhale, come back around. Three-legged dog. Exhale, pigeon on the left. Take your left knee behind your left wrist. Slowly settle into the pose, right? First, make sure your right leg is straight back behind you. Roll your shoulders back. 
Lift your chest as you inhale and slowly lower down. Really intense. So if you want to back off the stretch a little bit, pull your heel closer into your groin. For a deeper stretch, send your heel further away from you. And inhale, tuck your back toes under, press back into your hands. Reach back up to your three legs up. Inhale, shift forward, one legged plank. Exhale, one legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing up. Exhale, downward facing up. One deep breath here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lower your forearms down. Come to a dolphin pose. Shift your weight forward. So your shoulders are over your wrists. You can rise to your toes. Maybe walk your feet a little bit closer. Feel your strong shoulders. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your heels. Make a fist with your right hand. Send your right fist over to your left elbow. Spin onto the pinky toe side of your right foot. Reach your left arm up, come to the side plank. You can modify by stepping one foot in front of the other, or lower your right knee down. Little balls here. Or you can bend your knees. Just take a three-quarter bend, knee down. So find your modification, your position. Shoulders stay down, away from your ears. Maybe float your left leg up. Good, little hip lifts. Feel your obliques work here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Maybe reach a little bit higher. Maybe you can grab your toe with your hips. Exhale, release. Inhale, come back around. Find your strong plank. Shift your weight forward. Make a fist with your left hand. Take it over to your right elbow. Reach your right arm up. Find your modification and start to pulse. So again, you can cross one foot in front of the other. You can lower both knees down. Here you can just lower your bottom knee down. Whatever works for you. Three, two, right leg close up. No pressure, right? If it's too much of the leg up, keep it down. A little higher if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reach it all the way up. Maybe grab your toe. Uh, lower it down. Come back to your plank. Hold it. Good. Now shift forward and back. Round spine. Belly button pulls in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your dolphin pose. Walk your feet closer. Rise to your toes, lower and lift your heels. Heels down, heels up. Keep your elbows close together. Eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two, last one, and lower your knees. Like a child pose, keep your knees together. Take your arms back behind you to stretch out your shoulders. Deep breath there. And then walk back to your tabletop position. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Stack your hands one on top of the other. Lower your forehead down to your hands. Zip your legs together, roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift up, exhale down on the beach. Lift, lower, up, down, back extension. Inhale up, exhale down, lift, lower. Down, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, legs lift with your chest. 
chest down, legs up. Lower, lift, down, up. Everything moves together. Use your breath. Exhale, inhale for four, three, two. Hold it up, just pulse, legs and gut, chest. Take your arms to a goal pose position. Squeeze your shoulder blades as you lift your chest and your legs. Keep your heels glued together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders back. Lift your chest a little bit higher. Lift your legs a little bit higher. Pulse it up here. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Press back up to your tabletop. Just take a little counter stretch. Cat pose. And take your right arm under the left. Roll onto your back. Feet flat. Fingertips, raise your heels. Inhale, booty up. Lower down, lift up, just hip lifts. Down and up. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. You come up to a low bridge. In three, two, one, hold your bridge, pulse here. And wiggle your feet together. Eight, seven, a little closer in, maybe. Maybe a little further out. Three, two, one. Dig your heels, lift your toes. Keep squeezing your thighs in towards each other, finding internal rotation of your hip joints. Lift for eight, seven, a little higher. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, lower all the way down to your back. Lift your legs up to the ceiling. Take your hands to a diamond shape behind your hips. Lower your legs down. Two, bend in. Stretch up, leg circle. Down, two, bend, extend. Lower abs on fire. Really control the lower. Go down as low as you can. Eight, seven, six, five. Without changing the shape of your hips, keeping your back imprinted on the mat, reverse your circles. Bend, stretch out, lift up. Two, good. Bend, stretch, lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, Five, almost there. Four, three, two, scissor kicks. Almost there, right? Left, switch, right, left. Tuck your chin to your chest. Long neck. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold both legs up, hip lift. Up, up. Poke your toes through the ceiling. Lift. Keep lifting. Hips up. Lift. Lift. Three, two, one. Bend your knees. Feet flat. Fingertips behind your ears. Full range crunches. Exhale up. Inhale down. Open heart. Open chest. Shoulders back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. This is it, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Pulse here. Shoulders lifted off the mat. Shoulder blades up. Modify it and cross your arms over your chest or reach your arms out with your knees. Eight. Seven, a little higher, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Fingertips behind your ears. Bend your knees, tabletop. Lift your shoulder blades, start to 
Slice it out. Right to the left, starting slow. Left, stretch. Take your shoulder around to your opposite knee. Speed it up. Three, two, one. Switch, switch, switch. Quick, quick, quick. Really twist it. Eight, seven, oblique. Oh, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your chest, lower your shoulder blades. Flex your feet, press it out, bend it in, lower your hands down next to your hip. Stretch, pull in. Almost there. Four, three, two, hold it out, little pulse up. So if your back is arching, take that diamond shape again under your sacrum. Try to lower your legs down 45 degrees. Turn out your legs, external rotation. Heels together. Tiny pulse up. Almost there. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Crisscross. Switch, switch. Lower down. One inch lower. Cross your thighs. Yeah. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, hug your thighs. Inhale, take your toes to your knees. Exhale, release. Send both knees over to the right. Oh, you guys are done. We're just stretching it out to finish. Send both knees to the right. Twist over your left shoulder. This is my favorite playlist in the next And inhale, take your knees back to your chest. Exhale, knees to the left, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, bring your knees back up to your chest. Release your left leg down, just hug the right knee in. Inhale, stretch it up. Pull down behind your leg and gently pull it in. Deep breath in your nose. Exhale to pull your leg a little bit closer. Release your left arm out to the side. And just open your right leg to your right shoulder. Inhale, reach it back up. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Hold on behind your left thigh. Or in front of your left shin. Pull your legs gently into your chest. Gently send your right knee away without pushing too hard. Or inhale. Exhale, release your right leg down to the floor. And pull your left knee a little bit closer in. Inhale, reach it up to the ceiling. Hold on behind your left leg. Gently pull it in. Release the right arm out the side. Do and exhale. Open your left leg to your left shoulder. Inhale, reach it back up. And exhale, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, gently pulling your legs into your chest. They're holding behind your right thigh or over your right shin. Gently sending the left knee away from you. One more inhale, pull it a little bit closer. Exhale, take both knees together. One more big squeeze, inhale. Exhale, separate your knees, hold on to the outside of your feet. Rocking gently side to side in a happy baby. Try to reach your sacrum or your tailbone even down to the mat. You can stretch one leg and then the other like a ninja baby. That feels good. Good. So 
Bring your legs back together as like one more inhale, lift your knees. And rock gently forward and back. Stretch your legs out in front of you, flex your feet. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs, release your hands. Knee press in, knee press out. Inhale to slowly roll up. Find any cross legged position. And close your eyes. And inhale to reach your arms up overhead, press your palms together. Exhale, release, slow down. Inhale to reach your arms up, gathering tons of positive energy for the day. And exhale, pulling all that energy into your heart center. Hold it there at the center of your heart. And set an intention for the rest of your day. Be positive, happy, and peaceful. And bringing this positivity to everyone we come in contact with physically and over the internet. And sending love and positivity to every being. Take one more inhale here. And exhale, let it go. Thank you guys so much.